Hey my loves, it's Kay, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have got this look for you guys and I'm gonna be using George Asda's makeup. Yes, George Asda does makeup. I didn't know that, but here we are. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. So we're gonna start this makeup tutorial very happy, very bubbly. Make sure you grab some music, get into the spirit, honey, and just enjoy the makeup process, okay? Because makeup is not serious, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna first start off with the makeup session or the blur primer. We're gonna put this on our face, just work it right in, and just to lock that primer in place. I'm gonna go with my Super Drugs Vitamin E Hydrating Mist. I absolutely love this. So for foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Lancome Tint Idol 24 Hours Wear Foundation with my Makeup Revolution Concern the Fine Foundation in the shade F18. Mix those bad boys together and just look at the magic is doing. It's like the perfect shade for me and I absolutely love it. So next for concealer today, I'm gonna be using my Makeup Session Mega Concealer in the shade C15. And I'm just gonna highlight my face, like underneath my eyes, my nose, my chin, my forehead. Actually, no, I never I never put products on my forehead because I do have a large forehead, but I just use whatever is left on my forehead, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so now I'm just getting it, I'm blending that out using my Real Technic blending sponge. So next, I don't know what happened to the clip of the powder that I used, but I am using the Makeup Session powder in the shade Biscuit or Banana. I'll put it down below. I'll put the right shade down below. I try not to bake, especially during the winter time, because my skin will just go ashy and I'll just flake off. So I just like wet the powder into my skin. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Morphe face powder. I do feel like the concealer is a little bit too light, so I'm gonna go on top of that with my face powder, just to tone it down a bit and make everything look nice and seamless. And I'm also gonna use to set the rest of my face as well. So next, again, I don't know what happened to the clip, but I am using my MAC blusher in the shade um, Film Noir to come to my face yes blusher this blusher is really dark and it does come to my face and it does an amazing job in bronzing up my skin i like it this is what i use to come to my face slash bronze my face so next i am going to use this eyeshadow palette from george i'll put the right name down below because i can't remember for the life of me but i'm going to use the orange shade i'm going to use that as a blush today and this palette is quite pigmented to be fair but i did go in with a really light hand I don't want to look like an oompa loompa so I went in with a light hand and build it up and then I'm going to go in and lock that in place using my makeup session setting spray as well so firstly I'm going to use my Morphe eyelid primer I'm going to place a little splat on my eyelid <laughs> it's a little splat <laughs> on my eyelid and then go in with my ring finger to blend it out the first eyeshadow I'm going to be using today is from Dose of Colours and it's the Blushing Berries eyeshadow palette I know it's a drugstore but guys yeah okay <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with this dark brown shade. I'm gonna just gonna tap that on into my crease. Right now, you don't have to blend it out. All you wanna do is just pack on the color onto your crease. So next, I'm going back in with that palette that I first used and the same shade that I used as my blush. I'm going in, I'm just packing that on above my crease color. So now I'm just grabbing a clean brush and just blending those two shades together. As you can see, it didn't blend as seamlessly as I thought it was gonna do. So I went back in with the dark brown shade and i'm going to use a little bit of that i'm just going to start to use it to blend out the edges next i'm going to grab another george eyeshadow palette i'm going to put the names down below because i can't remember for the life of me i'm going to use this orange shade right here i'm going to use that as my transition color and make it nice and seamless as you guys can see i'm just going in with circular motion so next i did go in and cut my crease i just skipped that part because i feel like everyone knows how to cut the crease now i'm just going back in with the brown shade that I used earlier on and just putting that on my outer corners and just working that in and then going back into the George palette I'm gonna grab my finger grab this dark purple shade and place that on my outer corners as well using my ring finger and then going back into the same shade I'm gonna grab this reddish this red this reddish tone shade I'm really bad with naming colors guys but um, I'm gonna grab that I'm gonna place that almost halfway on my lid and then go back into the same shade again, grab this orange shade, and then place that in the first half of my lid. We can see what I'm doing. I don't really know how to explain stuff, but you can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, 
So now I decided to use a brush because I can't get into my inner corners. I'm just grabbing this light pink shade and I'm just placing that in my inner corners. Like so. Going back in with the first orange shade that I used on this palette, I'm going to work that in my lower lash line just to make everything look put together. You know what I mean? I'm just smoking that out and then going back in with the first brown shade that I used just to smoke it out even more and make everything nice and popping okay so now what i'm doing is just lining my top lash line using my nyx cosmetics eyeliner before going in with my mascara and then applying my eyelashes this just prevent my eyelashes from falling out so next i'm going to go back in and set my face again one last time give it a vroom 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 before going in with my lips and i'm using makeup revolution all-purpose stick to line my lips and then I'm going to grab this George lipstick as well. I'm going to put the name down below. I'm just going to put that on. It's quite sheer. It is like quite sheer lipstick, I must say. Even though it says matte, it was quite sheer. Anywho, and then just to top that off, I'm going to go with my Fenty Beauty Universal Lip Gloss. And that completes... Actually, no, it doesn't. <laughs> and then, <laughs> lastly, I'm going to highlight my face using this George 4 Shade Highlighter. I'm gonna grab the gold shade and then use that to highlight my face like so. Oh, chart, look at that. Mm -mm. And that completes today's look, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much and stay blessed. Bye, guys.